I'm Medius from Cloud9, and this is my basic champion guide for Echo. For Echo and solo queue, I think that he's pretty strong, but he's been banned out a lot, so I haven't had too much time to test him. He has pretty good ganks, especially if you're good at landing the W. He's got two slows and a 2.25 second stun if you can hit it, and pretty good damage, so he's great early game in ganking, and his scaling's pretty good too. His only issue is that his clear speed's really bad, so it's pretty reliant on getting ganks off. For blue side on Echo, I like starting at Gromp. Usually it's best if you can get a leash, because by starting W, you want to get the camp to under 30% health, so you get the max health on hit for it. Stun the camp, smite it, and then after that, go towards blue. From blue, you can go to your red afterwards to try to get your double buff level 3 and look for a gank. After that, you can go to crab, where you might run into the other jungler. If you're stronger than them, try to contest the crab. If they're stronger than you, then it's better to just either continue farming your jungle or look for a gank. Afterwards, you should look for a gank mid or bot for anyone that's overextended. For purple side on Echo, it's sort of the same thing, but you start at Krugs. You go from Krugs to red, and then go to your blue afterwards. By starting this side, you get a little bit lower than on blue side because you can't smite your second buff for HP, but you should still be reasonably healthy from the Krugs stun buff. After blue, look for a gank mid or bot, and if you don't see one, you can keep farming, but Echo's not the best farmer, so it's better if you can get ganks off. For Echo, you generally want to try to get as many ganks off as you can. He's a decent ganker, especially if you can hit his W. The only issue is that he's not the best duelist. He'll usually lose duels to most other junglers early game, so you have to be careful with which fights you pick. If you know where their jungler starts, it's best to try to gank lanes where you know they're not going to be or it's less likely that they will be. For ganking pass on Echo, he has a lot of options because he can jump over walls. The only issue with Echo's wall jump as opposed to others is that it's such a long cooldown. It's similar to Rek'Sai's E where it takes about 20 seconds from when you use your E to when you can use your E again if you don't attack anything. So while you can do this, it's not the most practical because it's almost faster just to walk around that wall at that point. So generally you're going to be coming at the enemy from either next to them or slightly behind them if they're pushed up. And what you want to do is try to aim your W where you think they'll be in 3 seconds, which is pretty hard. If you aim it from a bush, they won't see you start it, and they'll only see the W's animation 0.5 seconds before it can stun them, so you can use that to your advantage by starting your W out of their line of sight and then going in right when it's about to trigger. Most people will flash out of it because it'll stun them for so long. If you do catch them in the W and you think you can get the stun, usually it's worth flashing into just because a 2.25 second stun will usually result in their death. Aside from that, if you miss the W, you can still use your E to jump on them and then get your passive slow and slow from your Q, which is usually enough to force a flash. For team fighting is Echo, it's really all about your W placement. Placing the W on Echo is extremely hard, so it, I think it takes a lot of games to get good at it. Another way you think you can do an Echo is just start a fight by baiting yourself, by jumping at them and taking a lot of damage, and then using your ultimate to disengage and heal yourself back up. A lot of times you can get the other team to force a lot of cooldowns on you and then you can get out with your ultimate. The only issue with doing this is if they have a lot of CC, sometimes they'll kill you before you can use your ult. But the two things you want to keep in mind on Echo in teamfights are your W placement and where your ultimate is going to take you. Those are the two things that are very hard to use on Echo and can give you some serious damage if you use them correctly. Echo is decent at counter jungling because he has his E to escape and Using the W on the camp is a decent way of getting the other jungler to walk into it. Normally when you're counter jungling, you only want to be using your Q to clear the camp on the other side of the map because if the other jungler shows up, you don't want to have your W and E on cooldown. Generally, you only want to counter jungle when your smite's up, so just using Q, smite, and a few autos will generally kill the camp. Echo's not the strongest duelist, so it's kind of unsafe to be counter jungling a lot on him, but it is possible. With his passive, it gives him a decent escape, especially at later levels where it speeds you up and slows them down by a lot. For runes on Echo, I run attack speed reds, armor yellows, combination of cooldown reduction and mattresses blues, and ability power coins. For masteries on Echo, I take 21-9, taking both AD and AP in offense. And in defense, what I have been experimenting with is taking health regen and bladed armor instead of block and unyielding, just because Echo's first clear is so bad that the extra clear in health regen allows you to do stuff at level 3 when you wouldn't be able to otherwise. For abilities in Echo Jungle, I take W at level 1, Q at level 2, E at level 3, and then I max Q followed by E. For items on Echo, I start with Machete like all junglers, and then I upgrade it to Trailblazer and put the 
Cinder Hulk enchantment on it. After Cinder Hulk, I like getting some sort of tank boots, whether it's Ninja Tabby or Merc Dreads, and then work towards defensive cold interruption items. Some options of these are Randuin's Frozen Heart, Locket, Spectre's Cowl, whatever kind of defenses you think you might need. Thanks for watching my basic champion guide for Echo Jungle. Be sure to check out my other guides at lowclass.com.